Good evening, viewers, and welcome to a gripping segment of our program where we delve into the intriguing stories of five individuals, Thuong, Tu, Wong, Phuc, and Wang. Each one finds themselves ensnared in the bewildering labyrinth of suspicion for crimes you wouldn't expect. Our first suspect, Thuong. Hailing from the coastal city of Da Nang, finds himself under scrutiny for the apparent crime of being too handsome. With a wide range of hobbies, including workouts, music, movies, books, and a dedication to his studies, dreams of nothing more than a happy life. Despite his single status, his motto remains: "Don't be racist, hate everyone equally." I never thought my appearance would land me in trouble. If being handsome is a crime, then I'm guilty as charged. Next up, we have Tu from the picture city of Nha Trang, accused of exuding an aura of coolness. Born with a passion for music, games, and sports, Tu dreams of traversing the globe. Despite having no money at all, his aspiration remains steadfast to leave his footprint in every corner of the planet. Hey, I thought being cool is not as cool as I thought. But hey, someone's gotta give it to you, right? Our fourth suspect is Hong Fu, coming from the bustling Ho Chi Minh City. He has a diverse range of hobbies, spending books, games, music, and movies. He has the dreams of achieving financial freedom without the need for work. Therefore, he has spent thousands of hours mastering his academic performance. Two thousand years later, and it had led him to being accused of selling too well. <laughs> Moving on, we have Wong from province of Tien Giang, whose love for sport, book, games, cinema, and music. Born with a passion for number, Wong already desired to find the nature of the universe through the values surrounding humans. Wong lived by his model. Is there something better than you? And ask them to do it for you. Playing sport is my passion, not a crime. But I guess not everyone's seeing that one. Last but not least, we have Juan, the capital city of Hanoi, whose brilliance and academic prowess have raised eyebrows among the authorities. With a passion for games and movies, Juan dreams of forging a career as a professional esports player. Intelligence should be celebrated, not punished. It's absurd to think that being knowledgeable could be considered a crime. Hãy 